Hi guys, my name is Michelle and I create hair, makeup and lifestyle content here on YouTube. Today I'm going to be talking about cystic acne and how I dealt with my cystic acne. So if that sounds like something that interests you, then keep watching. Alright guys, so this is not going to be like a very structured video, right? I'm going to be ranting to you guys because the topic is such that I feel like ranting and just telling you what I thought and felt during this journey. So yeah, keep that in mind. Okay, so first off, I have to say that you guys have seen me with a bare face, right? When I don't have any makeup on. So yeah, you will see that my acne is gone, but I'm still left with the scarring. And um, I'm not going to lie, it has been many, many months. It is not something that you can cure in one month. So if you're under the impression that this video is going to be like this quick fix, get rid of your cystic acne in one week, then I'm sorry, but that is not how it works. Let me detail to you exactly what I went through and my long, hard journey with cystic acne. When I say long, I don't mean for years. I'd say that this is probably month six. And I think within uh, four, four and a half months, I had the situation under control. The moment I was diagnosed with PCOS, I know every time I'm going through PMS, just before my cycle starts, I would get one pimple, a pustule on my cheeks. But that has been my experience with pimples. When I was in school, I did not have pimples. I always had clear skin. So it, it was a little alarming to me that, you know, this late in the day, I started getting cystic acne. Now, cystic acne is a little different from the other acne that I faced when I was diagnosed with PCOS. Because what happened was I started getting red, painful papules. And papules are basically closed pimples. They're not the kind of pimples that will release pus. So it is almost like it is under your skin and they're very big and they're very painful. And you can't burst it, you can't do any of that. It's almost like it's under the skin. And trust me, both my cheeks were completely filled with painful pimples. All right, so the first thing I think I need to address is why I possibly got the cystic acne in the first place. Keep in mind, I have PCOS, so cystic acne is very common when you have PCOS. I started keto as well, and I know that on keto, you start consuming a lot of cheese, right? Cheese and meat, right? And nowadays, they're pumping cows and poultry with so many hormones that it is quite possible to have like a hormone imbalance if you're consuming so much dairy and so much meat. Another thing that could have contributed to my cystic acne is it could have been masked me. Now what is masked me? Basically it's acne that is caused by wearing a face mask. Now I started getting my cystic acne when lockdown started and there were a few other factors. Number one, I was eating very unhealthy and I stopped exercising altogether. So I was binging on chocolate, I was binging on fried food, fries, chips cheese i was doing all of that so yeah that could have also been a factor now i just spoke about keto and then i spoke about fried food right basically what happened was i started keto i kept at it for i think 12 days so yeah i i started keto i kept at it for 12 days i got violently sick because i didn't you know sort of go slow i went all in really fast i even hit ketosis but yeah, uh, then after that, I burnt out really fast and then I had to give up because I had no energy, I was not having electrolytes. I like the keto diet, I might try it again. I'm not knocking it, okay? But maybe if I try it again, I'll probably go for hormone-free chicken and probably make my own cheeses or buy reliable cheese where I know that the cows are not being injected with hormones. So in essence, what I'm trying to say is the things that could have caused my cystic acne could be my PCOS, it could have been the keto, it could have been maskne, or it could have just been the fact that I was eating very unhealthy and I had stopped exercising altogether. Now you have to understand that every single musician completely lost their livelihood when we went into lockdown. We had no sources of income. Nobody was considering us, all shows were over, people who owed us money, 
did not pay still haven't paid probably will never pay that's fine that's another topic anyway i don't really want to go down that rabbit hole all i'm trying to say is all hope was lost i stopped exercising i started eating very very unhealthy things were pretty uncertain and i started binging so that could have also been a cause two mug cakes a day not healthy right so yeah i started getting the cystic acne and my first instinct was to scar youtube I scoured the internet trust me when I say I watched every single video on cystic acne which is why I'm going to be keeping this very very short I want to hit the points really fast and then probably ramble in the middle because these are my experiences right and it was pretty traumatic whether you say that hey that's so vain that's just your your appearance no I'm sorry because it is not just my appearance nobody ever lets you forget that you have acne I mean it was not even how I was feeling about my acne but the number of people who stopped me like in mark to mukhi ki hoye the and what happened to your face what you done to yourself oh gee what happened to my face i don't know i haven't seen show me things like that do not help so even if it didn't bother me or irritate me people would never let me forget but it's fine sometimes i need to make an example of the things that happened to me if you don't have acne and you know somebody who has acne please don't go out of your way to remind them of it it doesn't help matters it's stupid what you could however do is point them to this video cuz i'm going to be spitting facts so yeah the first thing i did was i went on youtube i found this really nice channel and this guy spoke about he's a doctor he was speaking about herbal remedies and stuff so yeah i have it written down and what i did was i started with this face mask It was a DIY face mask of coriander seeds, fennel, turmeric, which is a uh, kacha haldi, amla, basil, and aloe vera. So I mixed all of these things together, and I started making face packs, and I started applying them on the affected area. Now I did this for weeks, but the pimples didn't go, and these were painful papules. They were not pustules. There were painful papules on my cheek that wouldn't go. It hurt my eye. It hurt my chin. It hurt my ears because there was so much pressure on both my cheeks. So yeah, I tried the DIY product. It did not work. But then again, in the video's defense, he was also talking about dietary changes, which I didn't make initially. I made them later on. I made some changes to my diet, which were no gluten, no dairy. I switched to almond milk. no chocolate no sugar i reduced my fruit intake and i started exercising now when i started doing these things i think i saw a change then after that i saw this video that said that you should put detol on your face and that is going to take care of the acne and i did and trust me if i thought the pimples were bad to start with <laughs> the detol burnt my face and my face was red so now i had these huge pimples with like red in the surrounding area trust me it was such a bad look but yeah i made the mistake of getting my advice on youtube right so that one's on me so yeah once i burnt my face that is when i was like oh my goodness i should probably see a doctor but we were in lockdown right so what i did was i went to this app called doctor 24x7 and uh, i booked an appointment with a dermatologist and she put me on a few things that i feel definitely did help me tackle my cystic acne now i'm not a medical professional and this video is not supposed to substitute professional help now listen okay whoever is watching this video and is thinking hey i should go buy the same medicine please don't do that i'm not a doctor i'm not a dermatologist you should be contacting a doctor because that is the best way to address your cystic acne because it's a real issue okay we're not joking this is not like one sweet pimple on your face bam boom put some cream you're done in a few weeks that's not what i'm talking about this was a massive issue this was an issue trust me if you saw my face you would know i took some pictures but then i quickly deleted it because they were horrifying but i think i have some pictures of my progress i if if i have any pictures i'll go through my phone if i have any pictures i'll put them up maybe maybe not i i don't know it'll be embarrassing i don't want to admit that i had these pimples but yeah it happened okay so if i find them maybe i'll put them up that's all i'm going to say about that but yeah the moment i started the medication right 
I saw the changes and they were pretty rapid. I'm not saying that the medicine is what cured the acne. I can't say that because I changed a lot, right? When I was doing the herbal stuff, I hadn't started the diet stuff. Maybe if I did, maybe things would have changed. Maybe my face would have cleared. But yeah, I use these two medicines and the tablets. And uh, Deriva, listen, don't buy Deriva. Do not buy anything that I'm talking about in this video because I think Deriva has uh, retinol. And if you don't know about retinol, then I've been on retinol, niacinamide and vitamin C for years now. So my skin is used to it. So yeah, I could tolerate this and it did work wonders for me. This is my third tube now. That is how fast I went through it because my face can take it. There are a lot of rules anyway if you're using retinol. Like for example, retinol should only be taken at night. You need to wear sunscreen in the morning. There are so many things. Please don't buy these medicines. I'm just telling you what I did, okay? She put me on Cetaphil face wash, uh, which I use morning and evening. In the morning, I used face clean. In the evening, I used Deriva and she put me on tablet doxed so yeah i took all of the medicine and i also implemented all of the dietary changes and that is the first time i saw results which means that the pimples actually started going down and uh, yeah it's been a few months i'm not going to tell you that you can clear cystic acne in a month or in a week that's not how it works it takes months in fact, you'll also know that yes, I don't have pimples on my face right now, but I'm still left with the scarring. And the scarring is something that's gonna take months to go. And it's okay to put cosmetic products on your scarring because things like vitamin C are going to lighten dark spots. A lot of cosmetic products do have vitamin C, do have different products that help with scars. So that is fine. But on cystic acne, I would say that don't apply cosmetic products. Makeup also is a big no-no when you have cystic acne. When you have the acne and it's active, right? You have active breakouts, please don't use makeup. It's not gonna help matters. I know you feel like you want to cover it up, but trust me, you're just choking your skin. You're suffocating it. You're not letting it breathe. So I would say no makeup if you have cystic acne and they are active breakouts. So yeah, the things that helped me were the dietary changes, the fact that I started exercising, the fact that I stopped binging on food. However, listen, okay just because you have acne doesn't mean you have to completely give up all food that is great i still ate gluten i had pizza once a week i still ate some chocolate i had like chocolate maybe once in two weeks now that my face is a little better i have chocolate once in a week in the morning with my tea i do have milk because vanity is not more important than my tea in the morning <laughs> you guys get the picture all i'm trying to say is moderation is key you don't have to go to either extreme as long as you keep a middle ground and you keep your diet you keep your exercise in check your eating habits these things will really really help you to combat your cystic acne so yeah that was it that was the video you guys see me with my bare face every time i do makeup so you know how my progress is going you know that i just have the scars and you'll see that it's going to take me months it's already taken me what six months to get where I'm at but yeah it's gonna take me many more months for the scarring to go but it will go don't worry there are no craters on my face I was afraid of that I was afraid of the texture but yeah it's all smoothened out I don't have any craters I don't have any bumps or if it is smooth a little bit of concealer takes care of it you can't even see that I have acne right now so yeah it's not a big deal trust me if you stress then you're just gonna make matters worse so don't stress, relax, don't let what other people tell you get to you. Your acne is your business and nobody else's, okay? Don't take shit from anybody. It's not a big deal. It is not incurable. Take your time. It took me six months to get where I am. Maybe it's going to take me another six months, maybe a year, who knows? But yeah, relax. Slow and steady wins the race, you will get there. It's only cystic acne, it is not the end of the world, okay? And I know you feel bad and I know it's difficult and I know it's not only about vanity, I know it plays an effect on your mental health, on your emotional health, but trust me, it's okay, all right? You will get there. If you just practice clean habits, you go to a doctor, or you book an appointment online, whatever it is, and you change your diet and you start exercising, you can deal with this too. Now, am I saying that, hey, 
problem solved it's over i'm never going to get acne again in my life no i have pcos so this is going to be a journey okay i'm not at my destination i'm not like hey i got this pcos cystic acne i got it of it completely no that's not what i'm saying but what i'm saying is if you have these healthy diet health lifestyle habits right then you're going to help the situation you want to help the situation right you don't want to make it worse right so yeah all i'm trying to say is not the end of the world relax calm down don't stress about it do something okay remember that a goal without a plan is a wish okay it's not a goal yeah so if you have a goal then make a plan and combat it and you will get there so yeah that was it that was the video i hope you gained some value from it if you did leave me a thumbs up leave me a comment if you're going through cystic acne if you dealt with it let me know what you did to tackle it uh, this was it this was the video my name is michelle and i'll see you in the next one